Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is the fourth meeting of international exhibitions and webinars of Design Studios. Professor Esim Boyaci Oldu and newly associate professor, uh, I congratulate again, Hilal Aci and uh, Dr. Uh, Bangusu Ertürkman Aksoy will be presenting uh, Gazi Architectures Threshold Studio. And uh, Irene Kuruli uh, and Tom Weger. Uh, Tom Weger, as far as I know, is a part-time teacher at Eindhoven University. And Irene Kuruli is a professor uh, in Eindhoven University in Design Studio. We'll be talking about, we'll be presenting about their own uh, studio practices. Well, thank you, Punar, a lot. Uh, I would like to say good evening to everybody. Uh, we aim to present a design studio experience that expands over 20 years. It was established to counteract the difficulties of third semester students who were finished with their first year of their education. First year of this education, mostly coaches in terms of uh, abstract ways of thinking and its representation. The aim of uh, establishing the Studio 201 was to translate the abstract way of thinking and compositional graphical skills into designing a structure with a real space. It was uh, to prepare the students for the forthcoming uh, coming design uh, studios. The teaching staff of the Studio 201 consists of four academics and four practitioners with outstanding architectural experience in the professional life. Throughout the semester, the students are assigned into almost equal groups in quantity to a tutor. As all studios, I guess, we focus on three major processes, such as research and understanding, designing, creativeness, experiencing innovation, and presentation, uh, let's say. Understanding um, process is structured in perception of the main problems with one's own recognition. As we all know, again, designing is the most challenging uh, process. It is dealing with maturing the student's own scenario, the last one is dealing with the architectural presentations like orthographic drafting, drawings, sketching again, modeling, and digital skills. Uh, 201 gives two architectural design problems. One is subsidiary, a simple functional problem. The main one is relatively complex. First assignment is relevant to the main task of the semester on the same site. All projects are evaluated in a colloquium-like jury on the conceptual, spatial, and formal approaches. The main task of the semester begins right after this evolution. After two weeks of research and individual critics, many juries are held in cooperation with two tutors and their student groups every week. The rest of the week is run by uh, table critics. At the end of the term, each design proposal is discussed and evaluated in a final jury, which is held again as a forum open to all. Uh, hello again. Uh, in this part of the presentation, we will talk about the projects of the uh, 2019 and 2020 fall semester, which was just before COVID pandemic. The design for a pedestrian bridge was the assignment given for the first project and an information center design given as the main project just op opposite of the Ankara high speed train station building. The fact that the station buildings are the welcoming portals of the cities, the design of an information center just opposite uh, side of it and connecting it with a pedestrian bridge allowed the students to write their own scenarios. 
As you can see from the examples, some students connected the potentials of the pedestrian bridge to the Ankara Information Center. Some students questioned the open space, green space and pedestrian paths in the site. Some projects searched for new perspectives and worked different concepts and different scenarios. Some students questioned and discussed the understanding of the publicity and public space. As a whole, the students in the stu studio questioned the concepts of connecting and welcoming spaces, inner and outer space, public and private, and developed valuable experiences from this semester. So in this last part of our presentation, we would like to share with you the student projects of the 2020-21 fall semester which we had to practice completely online due to the measures taken during the pandemic. We wanted to focus on the new spaces that are reproduced by the new daily lives of us and to reconsider the new normals and changing perceptions of the new daily lives special organizations. So in the process, we wanted to rethink and reproduce the spaces in which people come together the possibilities of encounters, the inside-outside relations, and so on. The subject of the design project for that semester was defined as a space that functions as a healing center on the scale of a neighborhood, which is an accessible environment from the houses where the citizens has to spend most of their lives. In the Neighborhood Health Support and Solidarity Center, NHSSC, as we named the student project, it was aimed to provide access to health and support services simultane simultaneously. The land next to the large green public space called Fatih Park, located at one of the exits of the Maltepe Metro stop near our university, has been determined as a project site. As the site was very well known and experienced by, by the students, we decided not to practice the first project. By producing a single project during the semester, we aim to focus and spare more time on the program. Another change was to give up uh, making physical models, which we believe is one of the most important tools that students should use when they particularly start to make their first architectural project. Uh, we can say that the students quickly learned the modeling programs also and handled the situation. We would like to introduce you to our new website. I would like to thank you all for listening. And once again, on behalf of the Studio 201, I want to thank uh, Professor Nardinch Kalaji and her team for organizing this highly important and valuable event and also inviting us to be a part of it. Thank you. Thanks a lot for inviting me and Tom to you as a representative to this event. Uh, Tom is with me. We have been uh, done uh, together uh, different graduation studio master project and what we are showing to do today is uh, two of the, these uh, events, uh, special uh, projects. I structure the, we structure the presentation in four parts where uh, we give an overview of the context of the both graduation studio master project within uh, uh, the university profile. Uh, well, uh, starting with a, um, uh, with a graduation studio to introduce its, uh, its one academic year divided in uh, four uh, quarters. Uh, so as you can see, um, there are some specific uh, um, uh, requirement each uh, every quarter it's uh, a graduation project is offered by the teachers so it's not a student uh, proposing a topic uh, but the student can choose which uh, uh, course uh, which uh, quarter can apply the the topic of the atelier they have 
many because it, they are related to the type of research that we are uh, doing. We, well, I mean, we, it's about uh, uh, the different researcher, professors, and within that uh, frame, uh, the teacher propose every quarter a general topic as a sort of umbrella, provide the, the general indication and the students uh, can uh, define their own theme within that, that broader topic proposed by the teachers. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, three tracks. Uh, we have the annual studio. Then we have the second track, which is about uh, um, a continuous studio. And the third track is uh, called International Atel Graduation Atelier Studio. The first phase, all the entire class, which is usually 12 students, uh, work, uh, work to uh, together in a group research. Um, and then they start to develop the individual graduation topic. Uh, so the students uh, they have to provide a motivation letter and they also they identify uh, first or second choice uh, of the graduation studio. Uh, and also they have to prepare a portfolio uh, where they describe the type of project they've done so far to also to show what is the level of their knowledge so far. Supervisor, so as uh, it's the clear definition of the research topic. Uh, we supervise weekly the students, uh, weekly meeting, and, uh, and the, the committee is always formed by three members, so always full professor and associate professor. The part of research is very important uh, for the, uh, in uh, the activity of, um, on, in the graduation atelier. So uh, the master project, Tom, it's different compared to the uh, graduation project because it's uh, eight weeks, it's two quarters. Uh, then we have halfway a mid-term presentation assessment, also where the students uh, get some sort of warning in case it's not um, good on track. Um, also here, you know, the students, we have a different uh, master project, so the students can make a choice according to their own interest and the study plan. We uh, always collaborate with the local authority and the organization. Mm -hmm. So as I already mentioned, it's about the climate change and resilient design. And um, um, it's a topic, again, I want to make this a central position that uh, the individual tutor research uh, it's embedded within uh, the courses. Uh, well, as you can see, uh, uh, the Netherlands in 1300 and nowadays, so the, uh, the operation of uh, uh, um, gain, gaining land from water, which is on one side, you know, it's a gaining more buildable surface, on the other hand, it bring other problem due to uh, effect of uh, extreme uh, rainfall and uh, uh, water from uh, rivers uh, uh, also coming. Uh, climate change so is making the spatial planning of the Netherlands increasingly complex. You can see that 50% of the Netherlands is already below sea levels in 20 years. Our soil is decreasing. De decrease of soil and uh, rising of the sea level is not a very nice combination. Yeah, if, if there are four scenarios how we how the Dutch government thinks we can protect for the next uh, decades uh, the Netherlands against sea level rise. And we'll give you some uh, example of the, um, the the courses. It's already showing where it's located. It's a formal uh, shipyard area in the delta that we have been showing uh, before. Uh, what the students start first is that what about uh, what is resilient? Normally, I ask them to do a mind map uh, of the to understand if they under, uh, they they know what the resilience is about, and then they start to make in the, uh, group research and to define their own specific thing with the, within the concept of resilience and they have to write uh, an article about that. Um, obviously, let's say regarding with the method, they, there's a, a mapping phase. This was the entire area they had as a, um, assigned. And what they produce, uh, uh, it's a book and then a, a, com a model together uh, where they um, uh, start to pinpoint where they, they are specifically uh, choosing their own location to experiment. Um, and this in this specific course, uh, you know, they, they also the students work together not only to define their own project within the area, but also they create a journey. So, you know, most of the tourists go to Rotterdam and they go to this location or they go from there, the Dordrecht down and they go all the way up 
to reach this area. So the boats, it's more than just an experience of a, a stop, but it's more experience of activity related to the water, the damage and the climate change uh, issues. An important aspect of this course was, to, you know, once you get the theme of um, resilience, to define uh, specific maxims. Uh, the graduation atelier on a resilient architecture do is the one that uh, we did also with uh, uh, Tom. Uh, is the city of uh, Dordrecht. It was a part, it was a connection, uh, it was a crossroads of a couple of rivers and trading was quite important. Where are the safe areas? How do we can take care of that particular moment that flooding will take place? Um, also, uh, which part of the city will be flooded? Um, well, this is the, uh, the, the the course that we have, uh, uh, the graduation atelier. The students, again, they have to learn uh, uh, all about you know the, the territory that they are uh, going to work with, and in the group they subdivide within the larger uh, group of uh, students. In this one, we propose or they came out with the idea that make a big journal. We thought it was wise to go to Venice to see maybe a little bit Aqua Del Aqua Alta because we knew in September that normally in November you got these kind of problems. So we went to uh, the Arsenal, where the, the office of this uh, company is. And we had, uh, let's say, two hours discussion and a presentation about it and the expectation they have. And yeah, during that particular moment, there was also quite a lot of comments from the from the locals. I must say that it had a gigantic impact on our, on our students. And, and then this, when it comes to field work, they had to do uh, site perception. You know, they defined the those criteria. They represented uh, through uh, you know drawings, images, uh, and, and so on. And they also did uh, site perception of, of Venice. This is uh, also um, leaflets the students uh, made at the end of graduation. This was very interesting because they didn't want to fight the the, the flooding, but they would like to use the flooding to, to start. Uh, yeah, aqua agricultural uh, community that could live and needs this flooding to uh, to grow crops. Reorganize that, that at the moment the flooding will happen, that people will be able to build within uh, 48 hours a new small village on a safe zone by their own. Okay, then we have the master projects. So still continuing in Dordrecht. Yes, we were invited by Westracht, that's an international uh, urban de design studio who was working with the municipality and the International Architecture Biennale of Dordrecht to figure out if this is a real solution for this problem, at least temporarily to uh, protect the people and to, to make a safe heaven for them. There was a plan made to develop a, a housing project in this in abandoned uh, industrial zones. So West Acht made a plan and they invited us for the center part to, to come up with a couple of different solutions. We give the students, of course, freedom to develop maybe completely opposite plans as what the municipality wants or what West Acht was, just to start the discussion. Um, so we also deal, dealt with the pandemic uh, that that period. And um, we are really lucky because, uh, you know, we had uh, iPads uh, uh, from the university, H students who could uh, uh, have a, a, um, one iPad and we communicated, you know, very easily sketching uh, with, uh, you know, drawings immediately getting uh, uh, visible. And this is uh, a more in detail one of those uh, uh, projects um, that uh, in detail one student uh, developed. So the final goal is an outcome that goes outside of, let's say, university uh, um, perimeter. Thank you so much to all of you for uh, your time. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. All presentations were very fine. All questions and answers were very fine. Thanks a lot to everybody who joined us tonight. It was a very nice meeting uh, that inspired us very positively. Thanks a lot and good night.